Talitha Kumai, Talitha Kumai, arise, woman of God, arise, man of God, hallelujah. Oh, God, you have been called. Today, this is the, the, uh, the series, um, the enemy is plotting against you. The enemy is plotting against you. I did, um, the other video I did, it's a whole series. The other video I did was Esther and talked about Esther and how people set up a noose for you and they hang themselves on it because that's what God's plan is because he protects his anointed. Today we're going to talk about people plotting against Daniel. They plotted against Daniel and look what happened to him. So I'm here to tell you, don't worry, man of God. Don't worry, woman of God, because they'll plot. But their plots will fall upon themselves. What is Psalm, uh, Psalm 716? His trouble recoil, recoils on himself and his violence falls on his own head. I'm here to, to uh, decree and declare today that everybody that's plotting against God's anointed with his you and me, it says Psalm 716, his trouble recoils on himself and his violence falls on his head, on his own head. So all these people that's plotting against you, hallelujah, the violence will fall on their own heads. And we're going to read about Daniel. Now to set up the scenario, Daniel um, has been doing so much. So Daniel is put over everybody. So I'm going to read Daniel 6. This is powerful. So keep up and listen because this is powerful. It pleased Darius to appoint 120 satraps to rule throughout the kingdom with three administrators over them, one of whom was Daniel. The satraps were made accountable to them so that the king might not suffer loss. Now Daniel so distinguished himself among the administrators and the satraps by his exceptional qualities that the king planned to set him over the whole kingdom. At this, the administrators and the satraps tried to find grounds for charges against Daniel in his conduct of his government affairs, but they were unable to do so. They could find no corruption in him because he was trustworthy and neither corrupt nor negligent. God, let us be found trustworthy, neither corrupt nor negligent. Finally, these men said, we will never find any, we will never find any basis for charges against this man, Daniel, unless it has something to do with the law of his God. Hallelujah. So these administrators and satraps went as a group to the king and said, may King Darius live forever. The royal administrators, prefects, satraps, advisors, and governors have all agreed that the king should issue an edict and enforce the decree that anyone who prays to any god or human being or human being during the next 30 days except to you your majesty shall be thrown into the lion's den they setting it up now your majesty issue the decree and put it in writing so that it cannot be altered in accordance with the law of the Medes and the Persians which cannot be repealed. So King Darius put the decree in writing. Now when Daniel learned that the decree had been published, he went home to his upstairs room where the windows opened toward Jerusalem. Now he look, he, he learned that the decree was published. He went home to his upstairs room where the windows opened toward De Jerusalem. Three times a day he got down on his knees and prayed, giving thanks to his God, just as he had done before. God, I thank you. Then these men went as a group and found, listen, they, listen to this now. This is how many enemy, how much enemies he got. These men went as a group and found Daniel praying and asking God for help. So they went to the king and spoke to him about his royal decree, the enemy. Did you not publish a decree that during the next 30 days, anyone who prays to any God or human being except to you, your majesty, will be thrown into the lion's den? The king answered the decree, the decree stands in accordance with the law of the Medes and the Persians, which cannot be repealed. Then they said to the king, Daniel, who is one of the, the, one of the exiles from Judah, pays no attention to you, your majesty, or to the decree you put in writing. He still prays three times a day. When the king heard this, 
he, when the king heard this, he was greatly distressed. He was determined to rescue Daniel and made every effort until sundown to save him. Then the men went as a group to King Darius and said to him, Remember, your majesty, that according to the law of the Medes and Persians, no decree or edict that the king issues can be changed. Now listen to this. They then went as a group again, telling the king that nothing can be changed. Wow. So, so the king gave the order, and they brought Daniel and threw him into the lion's den. The king said to Daniel, May your God, whom you serve continually, rescue you. A stone was brought and placed over the mouth of the den, and the king sealed it with his own signet ring and with the rings of his nobles, so that Daniel's situation might not be changed. Then the king returned to his palace and spent the night without eating and without any entertainment being brought to him, and he could not sleep. At the first light of dawn, the king got up and hurried to the lion's den. When he came near the den, listen to this now, y'all, this is good. He called to Daniel in an anguished voice. Daniel, servant of the living God, has your God, whom you serve continually, been able to rescue you from the lions? Daniel answered, may the king live forever. Met my God sent his angel and he shut the mouths of the lions. They have not hurt me because I was found innocent in his sight. Nor have I ever done any wrong before you, your majesty. The king was overjoyed and gave orders to lift Daniel out of the den. And when Daniel was lifted out from the den, no wound was found on him because he had trusted in God, in his God. Hallelujah. Trust in your God today. Trust in your God. He will deliver you. At the king's command, the men who had falsely accused Daniel, now listen to what's happening, and this is key, because this is what's happening to the men, Daniel's enemies. At the king's command, the men who had falsely accused Daniel were brought in and thrown into the lion's den, along with their wives and children. And before they reached the floor of the den, the lions overpowered them and crushed all their bones. Them lions were so hungry, they overpowered them. And before they even hit the den, crushed all their bones. Jesus. Don't play with God's anointed. Then King Darius wrote to all the nations and people of every language in all the earth. Listen to this. This is beautiful. King Darius wrote this to everybody. Hallelujah. May you prosper greatly. I issue a decree that in every part of my kingdom, people must fear and reverence the God of Daniel. For he is the living God and he endures forever. His kingdom will not be destroyed. His dominion will never end. His re he rescues and he saves. He performs signs and wonders in the heavens and on the earth. He has rescued Daniel from the power of the lions. So Daniel prospered during the reign of Darius and the reign of Cyrus the Persian. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You hear what happened to the enemy? You hear what happened to the enemy. What, what they had set up for Daniel <laughs> turned on them, their wives and their children, the whole family. The whole, all these families just got sucked in, hallelujah, and destroyed because they came against the, the um, children of the Most High God. You are a child of the Most High God. God has you. Those who are plotting against you at your job, in your home, um, wherever you are. Those who are plotting against you in another country. Those where the countries are even, um, you know, in China you can't even worship. So people plot against the Christians. Uh, in North Korea, wherever you're being plotted against, on whatever issue it could be. God's got you. He's got you, and he's not going to let them do that to you. Uh, we read in um, my previous video, uh, which was about um, the enemy coming against you, we read about Esther. Uh, Haman did the noose, and that very same noose that he 
put up for Mordecai, he was hung on it. Hallelujah. Haman put a noose up for Mordecai. God turned that thing around so much that Haman got hanged on the on the noose, and so did his ten sons. Haman had ten sons, and they hung them all on the noose. Today, on, in this when we hear about um, Daniel, Daniel was in the lion's den. His enemy had plotted against him, and the king could not change it. But God closed the mouth of the um, of the lions. And then when Daniel got taken out, his enemy got thrown in the same the same thing they caused for him. He got taken into. That reminds me of what Psalm seven sixteen. His trouble recoils on himself and his violence falls on his own head. So I'm here to tell you today, the people who are coming against you, their violence will fall upon their own heads. Let's pray. Father God, bless the reading of your word. God, I thank you that you protect your children and that you keep us safe, Father God, and that no weapon formed against us shall prosper and that every tongue uh, will be uh, struck down that comes against us in the name of Jesus. So God, I thank you. God, I praise you. Um, another verse, Proverbs 26, 27. He who digs a pit will fall into it and whoever rolls a stone it will come back onto him. So if you if they if your enemy is digging a pit for you, they gonna fall in it. If and whoever rolls a stone, they roll a stone. Ha ha! They roll a stone to, to, just to, to, to roll that stone over you. It's coming back onto them. That stone is coming back onto them. So thank you, Jesus. So we then went over Daniel. We then went over um. Esther, and uh, I'm I'm ending this now. But the next one is a series. The next one we're gonna go over is gonna be um, who did I say I was gonna do next? Esther, Daniel, Moses, Moses. Oh, that's good. So check in for that Moses when Moses comes. So subscribe, hit that like button, and share this. Share this because people need to hear the word of God. Share it with your children. Share it with your family. Share it with everybody because this is just the word of God. This is the pure, unadulterated word of God. So I love you and I bless you. Be blessed.